you get pulled over, that doesn't always mean you're going to get a ticket. No, but new tonight, after months of investigating, WIAT 42 News reporter Alex Finney uncovered the top areas police tend to hand out the most tickets and why. She's live right now in Vestavia Hills. Alex, there was a really bad officer involved wreck there just a few weeks ago in that area. Sherry, you're exactly right. It was a six vehicle pileup right here, right off Columbiana Road, and police were involved. Now, this area right here, it's known for reckless driving. They have had a slew of accidents in the past, but in addition to Vesavia Hills, we're also taking a look at Hoover, Alabaster, Tuscaloosa, and Birmingham. Now, I must say, there's one city in particular that trumps all the others when it comes to these speeding tickets. Is this a money making tool? Well, we did some digging, we investigated, and we have those answers for you right now. Officer Williams watches for speeders. If that, that one car is at 80. And when he finds them, have you got your driver's license on you? He stops them. Yes, sir. Hey, I got your vehicle on radar at 82. Out of five cities we looked into, Hoover comes in at number one for speeding tickets, handing out over 2,000 tickets between January and August of this year. We looked into what areas are the most active for speeders. Rossbridge Parkway, Shades Crest Road, Patton Chapel Road, and I-459 take the top spots. This road is a hot zone for not just Hoover, but also Birmingham and Vestavia Hills. 87. Now we have clocked them, uh, some, some motors, um, speed of over 100 on 459. Vestavia Hills police are now able to detect driver's speed from 100 yards back due to new laser guns. They not only show your current speed, but also also, your speeding history. Track the speeding history of it. Uh, give you the range, how far it was out when you got stopped. Birmingham attorney Victor Revel I helped stop that, drivers okay. from having to pay those hefty speed? fines. Uh, it's one thing to get it. It's another thing when you have to actually pay it. Yeah, speeding citations, they can be expensive. Just how expensive? Well, they can start at 150 and then go up from there, depending on your driving history. We get a steady amount of traffic citations every single month, anywhere from maybe 8 to 15 traffic citations. All of the municipalities we spoke with said in no way are speeding tickets a money-making machine. Well, you got a quota. How many tickets you have? It's, it's no set amount of tickets that we have to write. There may not be a set amount, but Vestavia Hill says they can easily write between 15 to 20 tickets a day. And the top spots they write them? I-65 and Dolly Ridge Road. Tuscaloosa has seen a whopping 1,600 tickets between January and August. The main intersection of concern, Jack Warner Parkway and McFarland Boulevard. Falling in behind Tuscaloosa is Alabaster, which has had close to 300 tickets. We looked through all the areas Alabaster police have given out tickets between January 1st and August 1st. Hillspun Road and US 31 were the top two streets. And Birmingham keeps a close eye on Carlisle Road and Essex Road, two areas that have been a main spot for them in the past. I think one of the things that we all do is we all we all speed at some point. Alabama's an absolute speed state, so if you're just one mile over the speed limit, that's a that's a, you violate the law. Now you heard it right there. The municipality said they really make no money off of these speeding tickets. By the time they pay for the court fees and all the processing fees, they walk away with very little. And Alabaster, in particular, they said they they're lucky if they even break even on the speeding tickets that they give out. Now the main thing, the reason why these uh, municipalities say that they're out here watching the speed is to make sure that drivers, of course, are safe on the road. We have so much more information on our website, wiat.com. We have dozens of other roads. Uh, if you're interested, you can head there and take a look at all of the other roads that we also looked into as well and where you're most likely to get stopped. We're live in Vestavia Hills tonight. Alex Finney, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. Well, see, I learned something right there. An absolute speed state. I always thought I had like five to nine mile per hour grace period there. That's a myth. Yeah, I According didn't know to that. Alex.